Hey yo, welcome to another Helix and Chill update. Just thought I wanted to give you guys an update on the PC build and I promised you guys that I was going to be doing a time lapse video, which didn't work because apparently my Logitech C920 does not work with my 200 foot extension USB cable which completely botched what my original plan was going to be, so you're just gonna have to deal with some shoddy cell phone recording job, and I'm sorry, I tried my best. <laughs> Just so you're aware, I couldn't record all of it because I, at one point I was getting uh, my father-in-law to help record the video and then he got bored and went upstairs so I was trying to like record and build at the same time. I almost fucked up the CPU which almost just gave me the, the biggest heart attack. I think building that PC knocked a few years out of my life because it's stressful but good news is we're recording right now on the PC but first let's have a look and see how I built it. And we're going to be doing this Linus Tech Tip style. Yeah. First, the body of the beast is the Fentex N2 Pro Full Tower. Has a nice plexiglass display on the left side to show the juicy innards. For the optical drive, a basic Asus DVD CD reader and burner. Heatsink, I decided to go with the Noctua NHD15, considered to be one of the best CPU fans on the market. Backing up the big brother is the Noctua NFF... This is the Noctua NFF12 tower fan, using it as an exhaust in the upper portion of the chassis. For the operating system hard drive, as well as other important programs, decided to go with a Samsung 850 EVO 500GB solid state drive. And for additional internal drives, I have two 1TB Western Digital Black drives for silky fast recording speeds. Now the heart of the beast. Major improvements here from my old rig, going with the Intel Skylake i7-67K for uber processing performance. Placeholder for now since the GTX 1070 is on its way, I'm currently using my GTX 970. Now for the nervous system, a beast computer needed something beast to connect everything to it. Here I went with the Asus Maximus Hero 8. For RAM, I snagged two pairs of 8GB DDR4 rip jaws, totaling a meaty 32GB of RAM. Also, big shout out to Scaldera. You can check out his channel here, he's a good friend of mine. He sent me an additional power supply that was unfortunately sent an error when he ordered his from Amazon. The EVGA Supernova 850 watt gold rated power supply unit. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I did capture, so I'm just gonna make a nice little montage video for you with music and things. Boom, let's go. After I finished building the PC, which took about around six hours to seven hours, uh, I decided to try to record booting up the PC and just as I was managing to capture my reaction to turning it on for the first time and seeing if it works, it turned on on the screen and I was so excited and then my phone died so you only get to see a blip here. Alright, so there you have it, that's the beast. I don't even have words to describe how much of an improvement I've gone from my old PC to now, especially for rendering, editing, everything is lightning fast. I've never had a computer that has been this amazing. And with the 1070 coming its way, I'm, I'm gonna even have an even stronger PC for gaming and all of this is gonna help in the 1K livestream. So I don't have a planned date set for it yet. Hopefully I'll start messing around with it next weekend when I get a chance to. Uh, for this week I'm just catching up with videos since I didn't get a chance to record since I was getting all my programs reinstalled and set up again. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my first time build. That's, that's gonna be historical for me since I've never ever tried building a PC in my entire life. So this was a big deal for me and I, I'm very proud of myself. Also, one thing I forgot to do last week, because I'm a fucking knob. I mentioned in a previous Helix and Chill video that I would like to start answering some of your questions and I'll pick one question from a previous vlog entry and answer it on the episode. I forgot to do that last week since I was just doing the montage Overwatch video. Uh, but I'm actually thinking of doing something else with the questions since there were so many questions that were asked. So look forward to that in the future. I'm, I already have an idea that 
that I want to do with that. So it doesn't mean that uh, you're not going to get your question answered. In fact, I'm probably going to focus on all the questions in only a singular vlog next time. Uh, so keep asking the questions away. I love answering them. And uh, for this week, since I'm still going to just do the one, I'm going to be answering Daily Quest Grind's question. His was, hey Helix, here's my question of the week. I admire your positive attitude and energy. You seem like a genuinely stand-up kind of guy from what you've shared about yourself so far. How do you deal with stress? You know what? Majority of the stress that I actually get is not from uh, doing the channel work. It's good stress when I'm working on the channel. Most of it comes from work when I'm in my full-time job. So what I like to do to relieve some of that stress is I like to take my fake ice cream truck for a spin and poison the ice cream and just give it out to the children. Just poisoning the children. Yes, it's the best. <laughs> no, that, 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 got, that got dark fast. Honestly, there's two things that I do to relieve stress. One of them is play video games and it's kind of goes hand in hand with my channel work uh, that I, I love working on the the content of the channel so that always helps relieve my stress and lets my creative juices flow the other thing that helps me relieve stress and it's actually the, the most important part that helps me relieve stress is just coming home every night after work and spending time with my fiance uh, she's a 101 and she is a godsend uh, I, I've never been as happy as I am in my entire life than I have been with her and she just she just understands and supports me so much and I love spending time with her and just relaxing and watching maybe TV we've just finished watching Toradora that was a lot of fun that was if you want a good feels romantic comedy anime give it a thumbs up it's not really a thumbs up but fuck it whatever so this whole area is my Zen and the Zen is not complete without her there so uh, yeah I know, a little bit of a sappy answer, but I'm sure I'm going to get some major relationship points for this one. I hope she watches the video. Alright, so that wraps up another Helix and Chill update vlog episode. Send me questions. I love hearing from you guys, and I will be more than happy to answer them. And there's a good chance that your questions will not get missed. I'm actually tallying and keeping the old questions from the previous uh, Helix and Chill vlog entry that had them. Uh, so I'll be answering those and whatever I plan on doing in the future. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and love for the channel. Make sure you hit like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all on the next level. <laughs>